Consider the graph below. They give you a system of inequalities, basically two inequalities that were shaded, and they only kept the section that they intercepted. Letter A, write a system of inequalities that represents f of x and g of x. So let's go start with f of x. To be able to write an inequality for f of x, I need to find two things. I need to find my m, which is my slope, and my y-intercept, which is my b. So my y-intercept for f of x is 4, that is b, positive 4. And my slope, I'm going to select another point, which is right here. I know it's going to be negative since it's going down. It's down one, down 1 and to the right 1, 1 over 1, or just negative 1. So therefore, I'm going to use y first. y, my slope is negative 1, so it'll be negative 1x, plus b, which is plus 4. And I need to decide whether it's less than or greater than. In this case, I'm going to just place anywhere. I'm going to place in down arrow and an up arrow. And did they shade the top or the bottom? They shade the lower side, so therefore it will be less than. This is dash, so you do not need an equal sign. So this is the equation for f of x, or the inequality. I'm going to do exactly the same for g of x. I want to find my slope and my y-intercept. First, my y-intercept is positive 1. It crosses at 1. And my slope, notice that my next point is here. So it's going to be positive since the line is going up. Up 1 and over 2. So therefore, my equation will be y will be 1 half x plus 1. And did they share the low side or the top side? I'm going to place it anywhere. Going up and down. And notice that they share the top. So therefore, it will be greater than. But because the line is solid, it can also be equal. And those are my two inequalities. So let's go and use the f of x name. Instead of the y, it will be f of x is less than negative 1x or just negative x plus 4 and g of x is greater than or equal to 1 half x plus 1. Now letter b. For letter b it says choose coordinates that represent valid solutions to the system for each quadrant of the graph. If no solutions exist in a quadrant write none. For quadrant number one, remember your quadrants. Quadrant comes from the word cuadro in Spanish, so always think of the C. So this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. On quadrant number one, select a point in sol solution. So I'm going to select this point here. So my point is 1 to the right and up 2. Quadrant number 2, so quadrant 1, quadrant 2. You can select any of the points that are there. Let's go select this point here. So it'll be negative 2 and up 2. Quadrant number 3, we can select this point here. So it'll be negative 5 and down 1. And quadrant number 4, notice that Quadrant number 4 will never be shaded, even if the lines continue to infinity, there will be none. And the last section says plot each point you created and it's plotted. So we are done.